Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a section D question from areas related to circles chapter, which had appeared in CBSC board exam 2024. And this question is for 5 marks. The perimeter of a certain sector of a circle of radius 5.6 meters is 20 meters. Find the area of the sector. So let us try to understand the question by using a rough figure first. So the perimeter of a certain sector of a circle. So here you can see that we have drawn a circle with center O and we have drawn a sector out of it that is sector AOB. OA and OB represents the radii of the circle and it is given as 5.6 meters. And the perimeter of the sector. So perimeter is made up of the outline or the border of the sector and the outline is made up of the radii OA, OB and the arc length AB. So the perimeter that is the sum of the outline is given as 20 meters. We have to find out the area of the sector. So let us write down the perimeter of the sector first. So the perimeter of sector AOB is given as radius OA plus radius OB plus the arc length AB. Now here we have substituted the values of perimeter and radius. So perimeter is 20 meters is equal to radius is 5.6 plus 5.6 plus the arc length value is not given. So we have written its formula instead that is theta over 360 times 2 pi r where theta represents the central angle the arc length AB makes with the center of the circle and here the value of theta is not given. So we are trying to find out the value of theta so that we can use it to find the area of the sector and the next step is to substitute the value of r over here. So we get the left hand side remains the same that is 20 is equal to 5.6 plus 5.6 gives us 11.2 plus theta over 360 times 2 times in place of pi we have written 22 over 7 times the radius is again 5.6. Now let us take 11.2 on the left hand side. So we get so here we have 20 minus 11.2 is equal to theta over 360 times. Now I have multiplied 2 with 22. So we get 44 over 7 times a 5.6. So 20 minus 11.2 will give us 8.8 .8 is equal to theta over 360 times 44 over 7 times 5.6. So in the next step, I have converted the decimals into fractions because it will be easier to divide the terms. So 8.8 .8 could be written as 88 over 10. They both represent the same number that is 8.8 .8. and the same thing I have applied for 5.6. So I have converted it into a fraction that is 56 over 10. This is just one of the simple method I have used. So if you find the division of the decimals is easier or any other easy way to solve this, then you can proceed with it. So I have used the fraction method over here. That is converting the decimals into fractions. Now here, once I do this, I can simply cancel the 10 from the left hand side and 10 from the right hand side. And the next thing is 7 and 56 go in the table of 7. That is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 8 times is 56. Now 44 and 88 also go in the table of 44. So 44 1 times is 44 and 44 2 times is 88. So let me write down the remaining terms here. So 2 has remained on the left hand side and theta over 360 times 8 on the right hand side. We can still divide this further that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 4 times is 8. Now 360 multiplies with 1. So we have here 360 is equal to 4 times theta. Now 4 and 360 divides each other that is 4 1 times and 4 90 times is 360. So the value of theta we got is 90 degree. So here we have written theta equal to 90 degree. Now once we have got the central angle theta, let us find out the area of the sector. So the formula for area of sector is theta over 360 times pi times radius square. So theta we got it as 90 and r is given as 5.6. So let us substitute the values now. So here we have written theta is 90. So 90 over 360 times pi is represented as 22 over 7 times the radius is 5.6 the whole square. Now the next step is simplification. So here we have written 90 and 360 they go in the table of 90. That is 91 times is 90 and 94 times is 360. So we have represented 90 over 360 as 1 over 4 and 22 over 7 is written as it is. And 5.6 square that is 5.6 times 5.6 I have again converted them into fractions that is 56 over 10 times 56 over 10. Now let us simplify this further. 
that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 8 times is 56 and 8 and 4 go in the table of 4 so 4 1 times is 4 and 4 2 times is 8 now here let us keep the 10 and 10 in the denominator same because it becomes easy for us to solve it further so now I'm going to multiply 22 with 2 so we have here 44 times 56 over 10 times 10 becomes 100 now 44 times 56 will give us a value of 2464 divided by 100 and since it is divided by 100 we can write it in decimal form as 24.64 meter square so this is the area of the sector given i hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching